In this short video, I'm going to be showing you how to use ChatGPT to write an article from scratch. So I'm going to be showing you a very simple example. So what we need to do to write an article in ChatGPT is literally tell ChatGPT what you want the article to be about. So in my case, I'm going to tell ChatGPT to write me a 500 word blog on the best dog breeds for first time dog owners. And this will take about 30 to 40 seconds. Um, and in the meantime, I just want to tell you that as a content writer, I don't use ChatGPT to write articles. Uh, like that because most of that content that is spit out will be duplicate and that means that if a hundred or two hundred people use ChatGPT for exactly the same topic chances are that it's going to give very similar information and that's not the route that you want to go go down to whether you're writing the content for a client or for your website rather use ChatGPT to give you ideas instead of going to Google and searching for individual things they want to find out about an article Use ChatGPT to just spit out ideas. So for example, I'm writing an article for a client that is uh, on dropshipping. And I do know what dropshipping is uh, because I've done it before. But um, I just wanted to ask ChatGPT what dropshipping is and see if it gives me any unique angles and ideas. And it did. So what I go ahead and do is I read the information that it spits out and then I write it in my own words uh, on Google Docs. So essentially, ChatGPT is just an assistant don't use it to write content like it is right now. So for example, I'm not going to go ahead and just copy this entire piece of content that it's put out and just uh, publish it on a blog or send it out to a client because chances are when you run it through an AI checker, it will come out as AI content. Alternatively, what you can do is simply copy this text as it is once it's finished and uh, simply read over it and reword it in your own words. This might be a much easier way for you to write content if you're a beginner. And to be honest, when I first started writing content as a content writer, it took me a very long time to write content and just to think of things to say. And this is where ChatGPT is actually pretty great because it gives you a foundation that you can work off from and then just kind of reword things uh, in your own words. So as you can see, uh, it's written this uh, piece of content right here. I don't know how accurate any of this is, but um, let's just say that I want it to be formatted with H1 and H2 titles. So what I can go ahead and do is just tell ChatGPT to format it like that. And then what ChatGPT is going to go ahead and do is it's literally going to format this entire thing in H1 and H2. If you have a more comprehensive article that has a more in-depth structure, so it has H3, H4, then you can tell ChatGPT to go ahead and do that too. Now, this is a very, very basic example here, but um, ChatGPT also works great for more technical and complex topics. So if you're writing something about physics or things of that nature, it's fantastic for coming up with ideas. And, uh, and yeah, pretty much. So it's given me this uh, as, a, uh, as a structure. So what I can literally do, copy and paste them into Google Docs. Or what I can go ahead and do is literally tell ChatGPT to expand, expand on Basset Hound, for example. And then what it's gonna do is it's gonna give me a more in-depth piece of information uh, on this particular breed. So let's just say that this text is perfect and that's exactly what I'm looking for. But I want to include a keyword in there and I don't want to go through the efforts of trying to figure out how to integrate the keyword myself. So what I can do is tell ChatGPT to do it for me. So what I've gone ahead and done is told ChatGPT to include this keyword here and mark it in bold. So let's see what it comes up with. Okay, as you can see, it didn't actually bold the text, which is quite surprising. But um, yeah, there's the keyword here, dog owners in Texas. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Um, if you did, do go ahead and leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions or if you've learned something new today, let me know down in the comments below and I will be more than happy to hear your thoughts. And also, if you have any better suggestions on how to use ChatGPT, say it down in the comments below so other people can see. And as I said, I'm not perfect. I've used ChatGPT for about a month, I would say. And these are the things that I found so far. 